Welcome to Lunatic Gaming, where you've got to be crazy to be this bad. Buang kang dako. This video is for the many players who are new and have not known about the grinding spot in Schultz. With the current free items handed out to players, hitting 240 AP should be easily achievable. The junk loot drops from this place is fairly decent, and you average about a minimum of 40 to 50 mil from junk loot, and about gotcha. 10 to 20 mil from <laughs> item drops. Now in order to receive close to the same outcome, a few factors must be considered, apart from the usual which are class and gear score. These factors are what level the node oh, is, oh. type of loot scroll, comma self tree, if you have PvP drop rate bonus, then your carry weight, and inventory space. The last two are important because carry weight determines how long you can stay grinding before having to stash the junk loot on your horse. Inventory space is important because this place drops a lot of armor pieces and books. Having adequate inventory space will help a lot, unless of course you are using the armor pieces to feed your fairy. Another important factor to consider is the Agris bonus. With the Agris bonus on, the amount of loot that you will get will rise significantly. I do not know if these are the optimal pathing for grinding, however I have determined at least two rotations. The first rotation is the one on the beach, and the second is on the upper area. This is how I do my two rotations.
Here is an example of the yield per type of loot scroll. Normal server with blue loot scroll. PvP server or server with 50% drop rate increase with blue loot scroll. Seven kafirs, so that's about... Normal server with yellow loot scroll. PvP server or server with 50% drop rate increase with yellow loot scroll. PvP server or server with 50% drop rate increase with yellow loot scroll and agris. Off of charge, we need about 112 mil off of one hour with agris and. So as you can see, the yield is pretty decent for beginners. It provides a lot of armor pieces that you can feed to your fairy and a fair amount of kafir stones. Not many people go here, so it's a decent spot. And if you do duel somebody, they're typically low gear, which is why a noob like me can fight like the clip show. I suck at PvP, not gonna lie, but it's pretty fun. Especially when you meet somebody like this guy who got mad because I killed him. And he kept calling me bad, so I killed him again. And I keep saying that I was bad. I mean, if you're gonna call someone bad, <laughs> at least try to slam him into the ground. But like I said, I suck at PvP. This guy got mad. I was laughing because he's mad. So at the end of the day, it was pretty fun. However, if he was like the ninja, then it would be a whole different story. We'd probably be laughing and we'd probably become friends. But this guy was an asshole, so he deserves an asshole move. Well, I think that's all I have to say. So if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask me by commenting or in fact, you could even DM me. Um, if you have any other places that you'd want me to check out and make a comparison again, like I did with this video, feel free to tell me also. Hey, if you like the videos or you found the videos helpful, please consider liking, commenting, or even subscribing. Feedback of any sort will also be appreciated and helps me create better videos. So once more, stay crazy and...